Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. I am born to be free. Yes, today, short TA update, guys. It's Wednesday, the 7th of June. I'm going to do a TA video. So let's quickly jump into some amazing charts. I have like seven charts lined up. Really cool charts showing you what Bitcoin uh, is creating for a position at the moment uh, and what kind of move we could expect in the next couple of weeks, days, maybe even months. Let's quickly jump into those beautiful charts. Bam, over here. This is the first chart, guys. This is the uh, four hour chart. Four hour chart is using our bam bam indicator. As you can see, the green bam bam there with the purple was a perfect combination of uh, also green hills in the bottom confirmation, and the blue line was above that white line, also a clear confirmation. So, yeah, that was a beautiful long, um, a long that uh, went from 25 all the way up here to uh, 26,900. I already took that long at 25,400, as you can see on bam this image over here here you can see that i opened that trade i closed part of the trade around 26,700 and a part around 27,000 years old it was a big profit and um, even the bot that we uh, are using made shit of profit that you can see over there uh, the bot did almost 350 percent profit if you want more information about the boss or the bam indicator you should go to this page the bitcoinfamily.com where you find all the products over there and also all the information and also some information about a family token that we use to incentivize you guys for watching these videos etc etc um so check it and um, let me know if you like it now let's zoom out bam over here gaussian channel as you know the gaussian channel i've been following this one already for years and um, yes and it, this is a five day chart so every candle is representing five days uh, I've been talking you through this already when we are middle of the red and I told you guys when we are red we will go I will follow the yellow line from that moment over there almost I said yes we will curl up again and we become green somewhere and if you break out of it it's very important that there is a retest to show the power of the top of the Gaussian channel that retest I talked about that last week I told you guys don't be in shock if we drop to 25k you can see the video, watch it back. I told you, don't be in shock. That's the top of the Gaussian channel. And this is a 200 weekly moving average as well. So yes, the wick went exactly to that level. And now if we look um, all the way back in history, then we can see that that happened many times. Here, when we broke out <coughs> the Gaussian channel, we went up, we came back, we retested, we kept support, we went up again, and then we broke it. And then we retested the bottom line. This was the COVID crash. And then again, we went up out of it over here. So we broke out of it. And then we came back, we retested it. You see, before that huge run game. And that is what how the Gaussian channel moves. If we go back here in history again, a little bit further, um, we go back to this period over there, we can see the same. Just this is a 2017 bull run. Most of you were already there. So we can see when we break out here, we retest, we go up, we retest, we go up, we retest, you know? So, yes, this is not strange that we are retesting the top of that Gaussian channel. Now, if we zoom out a little bit more to the weekly, we can see um, that I just tweeted like a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Guys, it's important that we close the weekly candle above that 200 weekly moving average. We are closing that candle at the moment above it. It still takes four days and 18 hours to close that candle, but look. Again, that 200 moving average um, is providing us of support, and it's still intact with that higher low. So, which means um, at the moment the structure is very simple: we have a bottom, we have a high, we have a higher low, we have a higher high, we have a higher low. We are waiting for another higher high, and that should be between 32 and 35,000 US dollar if it is up to me. So, for me, the green line turning up again for me this could be a sideways week and maybe another sideways week where there will be a moment we break out to the top again and create a new higher high in this bull market okay now that was i think all very clear now i'm going to jump into uh, four more amazing charts that you must see as well and the first chart is over magic 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 bam this is the first one guys oh buy bit five may till the 30th of june we can win an iphone 14 if you use our referral link down below our i mean the bitcoin family's referral link you can win an iphone 14 
and you get a USD dollar uh, giveaway, which means which means if you sign up and uh, deposit one dollar, you get twenty dollar. Then you have one hundred twenty dollar. You use the ten leverage trade. Then you have thousand dollar trade, and then you can fill a form. And when you fill a form, you can win this iPhone fourteen. It works very simple. Uh, click the link and look at the terms and conditions but i would sign up to buy at the moment guys and uh, yeah join this giveaway why wouldn't you now bam over here this is the first real chart that we need to talk about a uh, very important chart glass no chart this chart is showing you the entity adjusters urpd and this is showing you that the demands for bitcoin were massive on certain moments so on this moment here demand profile it was one of the largest ones the second largest one that means that most the most bitcoins were acquired at sixteen thousand five hundred us dollar so that's six hundred eighty two thousand bitcoins that's four percent of the um, circulating supply was bought at this price so a lot of people bought that dip you can see around that price also a lot of people were buying that dip now here if you look at this one now 780,000 bitcoins at 4.6 percent of the circulating supply was acquired at the current price at that price that we are now 26,727,000 000, this level 4.6 percent of circulating supply was bought and because of that we can see that huge part of support at this area because a lot of people bought there so there's a support area less people bought here at that huge number in the top so that's people still saying there's so many people are lost that that's not so many people lost there's not that many people that bought at these levels for 50 40 uh, 45 to 70k the most and the majority bought at lower levels that's why so many people are in profit now let's check this chart over here this is the utxo set growth guys and uh, what does it mean unspent transaction output so that means just see a utxo as a container um, that is full with bitcoins and that's held on a bitcoin address so the moment they are um, green um, means that there's a lot of unspent bitcoins means that people are holding bitcoins they are buying but not spending the bitcoins are holding and that is very important because look we are making a massive top if you look at that um, utxo set growth because more and more people hold their bitcoins in a container on a bitcoin wallet beautiful negative that means that people are uh, not holding it any, anymore and probably selling it so this is very good not selling holding beautiful chart now here uh, we have the bitcoin number of addresses with a non-zero balance yes i know that a lot of you are screaming every time yeah we bitcoin is getting not that popular anymore because we had the uh, luna collapse and we have the ftx collapse and that's uh, that's kicking bitcoin's adoptions ass and it's not growing anymore is that but that's of course a lie <laughs> that's the beautiful part of the blockchain we can see it's a lie this was the luna collapse after the lunar collapse 1.06 million addresses was uh, created an increase in 1.06 non um, zero balance so that's a bitcoin address with a balance were created and then we had the ftx collapse the biggest collapse in bitcoin's history nothing happened even more addresses uh, were being created 4.36 million extra addresses now uh, with a non-zero balance since two of these collapses in total more than five million um, addresses were increased and added uh, that have a balance so we can always believe the fact and oh the collapse is, uh, is going against the adoption it isn't there is more adoption there's more non-zero addresses so it means everything is okay no fun don't believe that shit. just keep buying bitcoin bam and then we have this chart guys on this chart we can see oh there's many charts today but it's charting it's wednesday okay let's i make it just charting me now but on this chart we can see very beautiful that the, uh, the aggregate top five staples of coin supply is going down uh, 10 billion in 2023 uh, from the first of january we were 134 billion in stable coins now we are 24 124 billion in stable coins the only stable coin that is increasing is the usdt it is 17 billion plus uh, so that's an increase uh, usdc minus 15.7 busd minus 11 so um in average let's say we have minus 10 billion in 2023 so people are buying that dip 
they did buy the dip around these levels with their US dollar tether and they bought the Bitcoin. That's what I think. It's like less stable coins, but more Bitcoins because the moment the stable coins take off, uh, they go down, the Bitcoin price is going up. So people are buying those Bitcoins. Uh, but here you have no view which stable coins are being used uh, to buy now, but also maybe interesting for you when you want to cash out and take profits, use one of these stable coins, never use euro or dollar because you'll get fucked again because you won't be able to buy Bitcoin anymore in the future because they are, you know, KYC regulating the fuck out of the market uh, and on and offboarding of Bitcoin. So if you exchange your Bitcoins um, because you want to take profit, then do exchange to a stable coin because then you keep it in the industry and it's more easy to buy your Bitcoins back again. Very important lesson for the future. Now, do we have any more charts? Yes. Bam, because you see that America is not listening uh, to these lessons and they don't understand fuck anymore because they are um, having this scrutiny of regulations and KYC shit and all that stuff and the SEC and all that stuff and everybody is looking at America. I don't even understand why they would be looking at the United States because I don't think they are important anymore. I think the dollar lost all the power. I think uh, it won't take long that the United States uh, will be like a zombie state or something. If I look at all the Instagram videos that I see of those people with all those drugs on the streets in LA and everything and like tens and nah, that's not going in the good direction. And that is also representing, of course, in the uh, US dominance when it comes to the Bitcoin supply. Because here, the US dominance has been going down tremendously. That blue is the US dominance. And what it has been increasing, of course, Asia and the EU that have been increasing. The US going down. So yes, Asia region supply change, plus 10% loan moves, EU plus 1.1%, US dominance, bam, minus 11%. So yes, there's, there's a shift when it comes to the Bitcoin supply. And that shift is towards Asia and the EU, because they over there, the US, they are fucking up their own country. Now, let's go to the next chart, and <laughs> there's this chart. This chart is a very interesting chart. This signals um, the Bitcoin cycle extreme oscillators confluence summary. Um, yeah, a, a lot of <laughs> difficult words. Um, the chart is just showing you every time when we are here down below that 0 0.8 level and we see this color to the bottom, that's the bear market. You can see this. It's the bear market. It's the bear market. Bear market. The moment the line goes flat or to the upside, bull market. This part is completely flat, small wick, up, bam, bull market. You see? Bull market. We are turning flat. There will come some up movements in there, and in the end we will get an area like this or like that. And that will mean, again, the bull market. So yes, we were there down, we came up, and we are going flat. So for me, very interesting phase to be accumulating Bitcoin, because you can sell them with a shit of the profit in a couple of years. Two years, in my honest opinion, I am believing still September, somewhere June to July, August, September 2025, depending on uh, the greed um, and all that stuff that has to do with it as well, when that boom, blow of top starts to go up. Now, um, one more chart over here, uh, also really cool chart. This one um, is a little bit more bearish. This guy chart is showing you what if what if Bitcoin doesn't do what it should be doing, what everything everybody is expecting, people are expecting 200k, 300k, and whatever. What if Bitcoin doesn't do it? Also, let's talk about that, because that's something um, that nobody almost talks about. But if Bitcoin doesn't do it and follows um, the growth from the bear market bottoms um, and decreasing strength in the last couple of bull runs, then Bitcoin could only go times four. Why am I saying this? Now, let's let's go, for example, over here. We have um, the first stop from the bottom. The bottom is on the left corner to the top was times 539. The second time was times 112. So that's divided by five. It's divided by five. I'm taking a round number. It's not perfect five, but it's divided by five. Then from 112 divided by five, bam, the next stop was 21 times. You see what I'm saying? 21 divided by 5 is only 4 times, which would be somewhere over there. So that would mean that from here, the Bitcoin price could go up like this towards the halving 
Yeah, yeah. And go up 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 and then go up, go up, and, so, uh, and, and somewhere, some there, so, something like that. You know, I, I, I hope you can see that line a little bit. I can't make it thicker, I think. Can I make it thicker? Yeah, there. That's better. Uh, even more thick. Yeah. So something like this. I, I, th I think it should even be a little bit lower, than, like at, at the level four. But I hope you understand what I'm saying. 500 divided by 5 is 100, divided by 5 is 20, divided by 5 is 4. So 4 times the bear market bottom, <laughs> let's be very clear, 4 times the bear market bottom, 16,000, would be at 64k. That would not even make a new all-time high. So that's why I don't believe this. But if we look at this chart, could happen that we only go times to 64 and that everybody would be surprised i don't believe it i do believe that the halving will give that push again that we go higher probably somewhere times uh, here times 10 between 7 and 10 is my, is my opinion and um, which would be in around between 90k and 150k that is where i think we should uh, we would end but let's be honest we can see this correlation very simple divided by 5, divided by 5, divided by 5, divided by 5. Now, maybe I made you a little bit afraid, but it was not my, bam, that was not my intention. I just want to show you, yes, we can be very bullish, yes, we can be very euphoric, but we can also look at the critical part, uh, what would happen if Bitcoin would do only that. Only that would still mean uh, quadrupling your capital uh, and, and still tripling your capital from now which is still a massive move that you can't get anywhere else in the world in any asset so for me simple sell everything you have go all into bitcoin because in two year times you will have been tripling your capital minimum and maybe even times 10 we know no but that's only guessing now i hope you really enjoyed this ta video if you enjoyed the ta video give the video a thumbs up um, share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about that last scenario let me think if you have something in mind like that as well and uh, this um, and and the rest i just wish you an amazing beautiful 7th of june day wednesday thank you for watching see you tomorrow again bam